What's up there, this is Mr. Mike Kaufman. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use code.org to draw some uh, basic geometric figures. And in this case, I'm gonna show you how to use the black coding to draw a square. All right, so once again, you get to your dashboard on code.org. Uh, we're gonna click on projects and we're gonna click on draw something. And again, this is gonna open up uh, the last project that you were working on. In this case, um, it's a square I think that I've already completed. I'm just taking a second there. But I'm going to go to uh, Create New. Now when I create new, again, it's also going to be important that I'm going to rename it. So that way I know what project I'm working on. Uh, at the end of this, you're going to have created uh, more than a dozen uh, different geometric figures and concepts. So it's good to keep organized. It's a square. All right, so I'm going to start off here with the actions. And when I click on that, I've got some basic actions that my little uh, drawing figure can do. Move forward, turn right or left, jump uh, forward or backwards, or jump to certain places on the page or to certain areas. Now I'm going to start off with just moving forward. I'm going to attach it there to where it says when run. And I'm going to choose a number of pixels. And I'm going to choose 100, and we're going to see how that looks at the end. Now, after my person moves forward, right, what am I going to have them do? All right, now I can have them turn right or left. In this case, let's have them turn. I'm going to hit reset, go back to actions. Let's have him move uh, right. Actually, no, yeah, let's have him move left. Right, so I can click right there and actually go left. And it's going to have me choose the degrees. Now, I can drag that over to 90, but I can also just type it in, right, whichever is faster, and then it'll show me what 90 looks like. All right, and I'm going to click Run. All right, so now he's facing the right direction, and I'm going to have to have him move forward again. Click back on Actions. Move forward. And because it's a square, I know the sides are equal, so I'm going to click on 100. And then he's going to turn again and again. Now. I'm noticing a pattern here, right? Because after he moves forward, he's going to have to turn left again. Now I'm noticing this pattern. So instead of having to do this over and over again, I'm actually going to use a loop. So I'm actually going to remove these two. I'm just going to click it over here and throw it in the trash. I'm going to go over to loops, and I'm going to use the repeat. I'm going to drag it over, attach it to the run, pull my commands into it. And then ask myself, well, how many times would I have to repeat this in order to get a square? Well, a square has four sides, so I'm going to have to repeat it four times. Click Run, and there it is. Now, something that I want to also do just to make my work a little bit cleaner, I'm going to click on Loops, and click on Reset first, click on Loops, and at the end, actually, I'm sorry, on Actions, and I'm going to have him jump to the top left after he's done doing everything, and I'll show you what that looks like. Right, so instead of stopping there, which he did on the first time, he kind of jumps off the page, which makes it easier to see. Now, what other things can I do? Uh, maybe I want to um, spice up my square a little bit and add some color. Again, I'm going to click Reset, go to my brushes. Um, I can add different colors there. Um, I can set random colors. I can set specific colors and so forth, uh, depending on what I'd want my square to be. Uh, for example, if I wanted to do... And then I can choose maybe pink square and run. Um, I can also, again, remove that color. Just again, just drag it off, throw in the trash. I can also use the random color. It's going to run like that. And there we go. Then I'm done. Again, I'm going to then take a screenshot of my shape as well as my coding, attach my screenshot back into my document as evidence and then move on. So those are your basics on how to use some block coding in order to create your shapes using forward motions, jumping, as well as setting some colors. Good luck.